Hi, my name is Dr. George Forgan Smith and I'm a GP based in Melbourne, Australia. I hope the following video is useful in helping you make a clear decision on whether or not PrEP is something for you. PrEP is a combination of two medicines that have been used in the treatment of HIV. These come in a single tablet. When they're taken as recommended, they block HIV's ability to replicate, so HIV is not able to take hold in the body. PrEP has been shown to be highly successful in blocking the transmission of HIV. People who may benefit from going on to PrEP include people who have inconsistent use of condoms, people who have had recent sexually transmitted infections such as chlamydia or gonorrhea in the anus, or syphilis, people who use methamphetamines, or people who have HIV positive partners who have not been able to achieve non-detectable viral load. PrEP is not for everybody. Most importantly, you must be HIV negative before starting PrEP. HIV is checked as part of the regular PrEP screening. If you've had a potential exposure to HIV in the past 72 hours, you may need to go on a different regime called PEP. Also, if you've had a potential exposure to HIV in the last month, there may need to be careful monitoring of your HIV status in the early phases of starting PrEP. What are the side effects of PrEP? A rare side effect of PrEP is a slight reduction in kidney function. People who have issues with their kidneys need to be carefully monitored when they start taking PrEP. Kidney function is checked for everybody before starting PrEP. If you have medical issues or are on medications that can affect the kidneys, PrEP is still an option, but needs to be carefully monitored. It's important to talk with your doctor, not only about your medical history, but any medicines that you take, including ones that may be over the counter. This includes diabetes medicines, as well as some medicines that are used to treat pain or inflammation. There is a rare side effect that can lead to reduced bone density. If you have existing osteoporosis, brittle bones, or a family history with bones, let your doctor know. They may want to do a bone density test before you start PrEP. One of the more common side effects is gut upset when you first start taking the medicine. This can include a little bit of bloating, some loose stool, or in some people, a bit of constipation. This settles quite quickly after you've started taking the medicine and not everybody gets it. I recommend having some acidophilus yogurt. This can help make a difference. It's important to note that PrEP only protects against HIV. It does not protect against other sexually transmitted infections. While we know with PrEP, if condoms are not used, you still get good protection against HIV, other infections can still be transmitted. For this reason, it's recommended to continue using condoms to reduce the risk of other sexually transmitted infections. As part of the initial testing of PrEP, we will include a full sexual health screening. This includes a throat and anal swab, as well as urine tests for chlamydia and gonorrhea. We will also do blood tests to check your HIV status, as well as hepatitis A, B, and C. We will also be checking your kidney function. In Australia, PrEP as a single tablet taken every day is the recommended regime. When taken this way, we know it's 99% effective in preventing HIV infection. An occasional missed tablet is not going to cause major problems. Even if you're only getting between four to six tablets a week, you still have 96% protection. I recommend that people consider finding a regular routine, something they do every day, and piggyback taking that medicine onto that thing. It can be a good idea to have a little pill container. You can fit extra tablets inside, throw it into your work bag, so that if you forget to take a tablet, you've got a spare one there should you need it. If you're still struggling to take the tablet, there are some apps that you can put onto your phone that serve as a reminder to take your tablet every day. When you start daily prep, you need to have at least seven days worth of medicine inside the body before you will have optimal protection against HIV. If you've had a change of circumstance and wish to come off prep, 
it's recommended to continue taking PrEP for 28 days after your last exposure to HIV. This helps ensure that any HIV that you may have been exposed to is fully eliminated from the body before you stop taking the medicine. Intermittent PrEP is also an option if you have infrequent episodes of risk for HIV. Your doctor can explain how this works. As part of the regular PrEP routine, you will need to come back every 90 days. This will enable you to get a new script, but also to get a full sexual health screening and check of your kidneys. This is also a great chance to have a chat about any side effects or to discuss ways to ensure that you're able to get your tablet every day. This is a really good opportunity to touch base with your doctor and to have a good open discussion about how PrEP has been for you and any issues you may have had. I hope this video has helped you make an informed decision about PrEP.